Welcome back. Um, I am very happy to discuss a topic that I really use. So it is called experience replay. So experience replay in reinforcement learning is like having a memory bank where a robot stores past experiences. So instead of learning only from new experiences, the robot can replay older ones to improve its decision making. This helps it learn faster and avoid forgetting important lessons. So by mixing old and new experiences, robot gets better at figuring out the best actions to take in different situations. So these past experiences are basically state action reward and the next state. So basically by reusing these past experiences, agent can learn from fewer interactions with the environment, which makes learning more efficient. Um, the primary goal of experience replay is to break the correlation between consecutive experiences and, and hence improving stability and efficiency of the learning process. The um, algorithmic steps are pretty um, similar to um, neural Q learning, and you can do the same for SARSA, neural SARSA. I am just going to cover it for um, neural Q learning. Basically, we initialize theta, and this time the replay buffer. We take an action with epsilon graded strategy, random or optimal. And then we store experiences in the replay buffer and start sampling a mini batch of experiences from this replay buffer. So we are going to use the stored experiences, which, which includes the new one as well. And we update data for each sampled experience using the same data update rule from the previous classes and repeat from step two until we converge, uh, data values converge or by the end of the episode, if you have terminal states. I didn't write step six here. Step six is after the training is done, basically extract optimal policy in the same way you extract for uh, neural Q learning. Since this is a follow-up video uh, to neural Q learning and neural SARSA, if you have any difficulty understanding those, watch the um, two videos before this video in this reinforcement learning playlist. All right, so um, let's jump to an example, MATLAB example. Again, I used X to denote S states, U to denote actions. I highlighted the different, you know, the differences as comp if you compare this code with the neural Q learning code. Basically, I am, um, Initializing the replay buffer parameters and the replay buffer, it, it stores at the beginning nothing. It is size is 1000. Well, our maximum iterations are 400, so uh, maximum really it will store 400, but just in case you increase this number, you know, it will store just 1000. And batch size, when I copy paste this, this take the screenshot of this code, it, it was five. Um, to achieve a better performance, I increased batch size to 16. Um, this part of the code is similar, reward function, um, definition feature vector, RBF features, as I explained in the previous video. So I am skipping those parts. They are coming from the Q, neural Q learning code, um, almost, almost identical. I don't remember making any changes there. So this is the basically for loop, uh, maximum number of iterations. We choose an action using epsilon grid strategy. And this is just the transitioning, you know, the same thing, right? We are looking at this same example. You have states one, two, three. This is the terminal state. So really you are looking at one and two. And actions are if minus one, you go left, if plus one, go right. We are looking at this game. And basically this says if you are in state one and if you would like to go left, there is no state zero, so you stay there. 
Otherwise, if you're on state one and if you want to go right, you go to second state. I explained this several times in the past as well, so I am skipping. So here we store experience in a replay buffer, basically x u reward at x next. We um, limit the buffer size here, right? Buffer size is 1000. So it is limited in here and if it exits basically it removes the oldest experience from the buffer and replaces it with any one so from here to here basically this this is the um uh, this part of the step so step four we update data for each sampled experience as you see from um one to batch size basically we perform uh, we basically x u r x next as prime and we calculate the fee current this is the same as the neural q learning code these calculations we just do it for um, loop over batch basically mini batch this is the same but we do for all these experiences and likewise these are the same so really the new part is for loop here and then we record the data for plotting purposes and um, other than that basically um, the rest is basically the final piece of the code is displaying final results and plotting data values over iterations this is from the last video, example video, um, you may remember Q, neural Q learning. Basically, we choose alpha 0.1. Let me go back here one more time. We choose identical parameters in the uh, previous neural Q learning. So, and it was converging like this. After around 400 iterations, it was finding the optimal policy. And this was... Um, I mean, this was great, but when we now have used neural Q learning with experience replay, look what happens. After really nearly 25 or 30 iterations, it converges and it finds the optimal policy. Uh, this is great, that's why. I wanted to share, I wanted to teach you experience replay. Um, experience replay in neural Q learning as well as neural SARSA, you can apply, you know, you can take this as another homework, right? So, you know, apply experience replay to SARSA, code it yourself. You basically need to look at, compare, you know, you take the SARSA code, neural SARSA code, and apply the highlighted yellow highlighted pieces that I showed you during this video. And here you go. It is a great homework that you should try. All right. As this being said, thanks for watching. Um, if you like this idea, subscribe, turn notifications on and take care.